Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my project pan update. Now I know I haven't posted a video in I want to say maybe a week or two, but it's back to school time. Everything's been pretty hectic around here and the kids are finally going to start school tomorrow and hopefully that'll let me be um a lot more it'll free up some time is what I'm trying to say that way I can be a lot more consistent is the word that I was looking for so yeah so let's start off with my makeup revolution iconic neutrals palette now I wanted to finish up the matte shade on this palette which looks like that and it is gone I completely used it up. I really do enjoy this palette. The packaging is terrible, but for $7, it is not bad at all. Although Profusion palettes are around the same price, I have some palettes that are cheaper than that, and I feel like their packaging is a lot better than Makeup Revolutions. But yeah, I did... Oops, I just dug my nail into that shade. Again, as you can see, I did it here too. But I did finish the shade up, so I'm really happy. And to replace that, I did bring in my TARDIS Pro palette, which looks like that. And again, I usually just use up the matte shades when I am panning shadows. So I am currently panning the shade Vintage right here. As you can see, I already have quite a big dip in the shade here. And if this doesn't look too yellow toned on my eyes then i will be panning the shade classic next but these shadows are really soft so i don't see myself kind of taking a long time to finish vintage up so we'll see and then the next item that i was panning is the maybelline fit me foundation the matte and poreless and i am shade 118 light beige i have around i want to say i still have around here left now i only usually buy one foundation at a time so that's why i'm just throwing this in there because i know i'm gonna pan it anyways so i still have quite a bit to go and the next thing that i am panning currently is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And as you can tell, I have done quite a good job on there. It looks like that. It is a mess. It is messy because I use a huge bronzer brush. But I am hoping and I really do think that I am going to finish this by the end of this month. And when I do, then I'm going to be bringing in, well, I was going to say my Sephora bronzer it's a contour shade but i use it as a bronzer because i'm very fair well i'm not fair i'm light but i really enjoy the tone of that but i do have bronzers in palettes that i should get more use out of so i may get into those instead but i really do enjoy this bronzer it's a good bronzer will i repurchase it i don't know i'd, I'd have to see but i it's a good bronzer so I, I'm hoping to finish that by the end of this month. The next thing that I'm panning is this Cover FX Moonlight Perfect Light Highlighting Powder. And it looks like this. I feel like it's looked like that for quite a while. And I have been using this every day. I have rarely been using a different highlight but highlights are so hard to go through even though I put it on my nose I put it on my cheekbones I put it on my cupid's bow I don't know it just highlights are so long it takes so long to go through so it's kind of annoying me to use this a little bit I gotta say I really do love it it's you can do it really subtle like a subtle highlight or you can do it very like a strong highlight but I'm just kind of bored of using it over and over again 
but it is a good highlight and I really want to be able to get through it. So will I finish this by the end of this month? Probably not, but I'm going to try. And the next thing that I have is this Benefit Dandelion Blush that looks like that. And this is the mini size. And I have a pretty big pan going here. So I'm hoping, I really highly doubt I'm going to finish this by the end of this month. But I feel like maybe in two or three months, this could really be gone. I enjoy this. I do feel like I do need to build it up even though I am light. I still feel like it needs to be built up. I really would not recommend this blush for any deep skin tones because it just you won't really be able to see it sadly but I think it's a pretty tone and I like it would I repurchase probably not I like more my blushes to be a little bit more on the peachy side but I also wouldn't recommend buying one of these box blushes in the full size unless they are on sale because on sale I think they're around 15 to um maybe even like $19 on sale and this one was 15 so I'd only pick it up if it was on that deep of a discount but these blushes do last forever I think I've had this blush for about two years already so it has lasted me quite a bit and the final thing well no I have two more things and the next thing that I am panning is this Kat Von D setting powder in the shade Translucent. This was a Sephora birthday gift. So as you can see, I have quite a bit in there. It is almost full basically. And I'm just trying to use it up. I use powder every day. Again, it's just kind of like the foundation thing. Like if I use it, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in here because I know I use it every day and hopefully, not hopefully, I know I will go through this. So that's really the only reason why um, it's in my pan. And now the final thing is this Too Faced Bunny Kisses Lip Gloss. And I actually completely finally used this up. I love this gloss. I wish they had it in a permanent line. I don't. I haven't tried any other Too Faced lip glosses, so maybe I should. If you guys have tried their lip glosses, then please leave a comment down below letting me know which one you guys enjoy. I really have been on a lip gloss kick, even though I probably shouldn't be buying anymore. And if I do, it's probably going to be the Fenty Gloss. I'm just going to go ahead and break and buy it. I know I am in the unpopular opinion, but I am not a huge fan of Rihanna. So I just haven't bought any of her makeup. It hasn't intrigued me. I don't care to buy it. But just a lot of people really love that gloss. So I really am intrigued on purchasing that. But I just wish somebody else would have made it. But yeah. Um, I used this up. And looking at the pictures of the Fenty gloss, the original one, I feel... I don't know why I feel like this would be like a it would be like a dupe for this. So another reason why I kind of really want to pick this up. I want to pick that gloss up. But yeah, I finally finished it. I'm super happy. And then in order to replace that, I have my Bare Minerals lip gloss, which looks like this. As you can see, I have already have let me see if I if I take the wand out, would you be able to kind of notice a little bit more? Yeah, you can. I have a lot of uses going already on this, um, but I really do enjoy this gloss. The taste is kind of weird. That's the only issue I really have with it, but I'm... I really like the formula and I've been using it a lot lately and I tend to use my um, to do my makeup every day so this is what I'm reaching for when I do it and if I'm not going out and I want a particular shade then this is what I have been picking up 
in order to just make sure I go through all my products and use them. Now, again, let me just put a couple of products here. Um, what I don't I don't want this looking a little too bare, so I'll just put these here. But again, that is my project pan update. And if you are new to my channel, I just like doing these not because I want to pan something, I want to get rid of it. I I just enjoy using my makeup so much. I feel so accomplished when I actually do use up a makeup product. And I know I'm going to be using it. I'm using these things every day. And it also helps me a lot to figure out what I am going to keep in my collection and what I can just go ahead and declutter or, you know, give to someone else, which is another reason why I tend to use a different eyeshadow palette every single day if I'm not trying something out. Then I use a different eyeshadow palette every day just so I can get a sense of, do I really like this palette? Does it excite me? Do, do I feel inspired when I look at it? And it's just one of those things that actually really helps me. I don't want to say condense my collection because I feel like it is excessive, but it's something that I enjoy. And this does kind of help me go through like, you know, maybe you shouldn't have bought that. But yeah, so that is it for today's video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed already, then please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see anything in specific, then please leave a comment down below letting me know. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.